Alright, Explorers, it's been literally like, what, five hours in? Five hours. We found the way into the main lobby. Oh my god. What? Bro, I just, I just beat my head down there and saw something. Someone's living here. We found the bag and it's sealed. We're going to open it. Then where's this go? It is a serious maze through the rooms, through this different ways, through these windows, these windows. What a day. Only in the UK. Only in the UK. Only in the UK. Guys, look. Oh my god. Yeah! What is up, Explorers? I am super amped, super excited, because I am looking at one of the best and greatest abandoned mansions probably ever that I'm about to film right now. Of course, we're in the UK. I got the homies with me. I got Steve Ronan over there. I got Dan. I got freaking Dave, you, Abandoned World Explorer. Everyone's with us, but this, this is insane. All right, enough of me. Look. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know. I know it sounds too good to be true, but this is fully abandoned. Just sitting here, the big shebang, no joke. And that is a freaking lion right in the middle, guarding it. That's right, guys. We're going in that bad boy. This place has over 46 bedrooms, 100 rooms, and it's a neoclassical architecture. This is a rare gem, first originated in 1600s. It was just a small house, then it caught on fire. They rebuilt the house in the 1700s. Then in the 1800s, it was passed on through four different families before a rich, wealthy lord picked it up and gave it to his son. It was used for a while, for another 50, 60 years, before in 1965, different people took it over. The Pope came here. But in 2016, a company bought it and is starting to renovate it, but they stopped in 2020 without any news on why. But actually, when you go inside, we're gonna see information that it would actually stopped in 2019. No one knows if this is actually gonna be finished or not. There's marble flooring inside. There's statues inside there. There's antiques inside there. This is gonna be one of the best abandoned places right now in the UK. We're going in. Let's get in. Now, explorers, before we head on in this place at full force, just look at all the windows, look at all these rooms, and just look at all the freaking statues. They're like guarding the place up, and you got the freaking lion over there. It is a neoclassic architecture, like I said, and the roof is chill. There's, there's like a, almost like a ballerina girl on the roof. It's nuts. We found this ladder that was already put here. Got the boys down, though. All right, so we got Steve Rowan in here. We got Abandoned World Explorer, and we got Exploring with Fighters, so. You already know. This is a team that's taking on the big mansion. Where is this taking me? None of this is safe. Falling in over there. I might have to go around over there. But we'll find out. Yo, we gotta be careful here. What is this, furniture? I can't even see where we are. Bro, this might be the only way to get through. Okay. We gotta walk this beam or nothing. Oh wow, the marble bathroom though. That's nice. This is still nicer than my bathroom right now. <laughs> There's nothing in it. Whoa, light's flickering right now. I like how the frames of the paintings are all in like trimmed gold. They've come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise despoiled by mankind. Remember me. Now this is looking like a proper hotel because that's what it was before it closed for good. Look at this freaking hallway, oh my god. You can't get this in the United States. Oh dude, even the bed. This is too mint. All the furniture that's left here looking seriously pretty old. They probably kept it and reused it. Some of this furniture is probably original to the house back in like the early 1900s. That's just my guess. I mean, this is still exotic, like old furniture. That is sick. You know, I just bought a house too, and I'm like looking at this furniture, and I like it. I would love it in my house. This is really cool. And really quick, Explorers. Obviously, I put a lot of work and a lot of time in these videos, so I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's watching and still continue watching after seven years on YouTube. And I just want to say really quick, if you guys want to keep supporting and see the other side of my life that's not exploring abandoned places, that's not doing ghost videos, please check out my new vlog channel called Just Josh and You. And if you want to hear any podcasts or spooky stories, go to my new channel as well, the third channel, and that's called Exploring Beyond the Dark. And of course, check out the merch. I was rocking my black Nara Dreamland hoodie, but it is freaking hot in here. Let's go back in the video. Like and subscribe this video as well, guys. Hit that bell button if you want to see more videos like this, because I do a ton. I'm just walking through this grand hotel that's over like 200 years old in the UK. The bathroom's gone though, and all of them, they're all gone. 
But oh, this is a nice setup. This is the best one. Definitely the best one. Dude, I don't know who he is, but I just like how it's abandoned and left here. Oh, dude, even up there. What's good? I'm just admiring this hallway. I can't believe it. It's amazing and there's no graffiti. I don't think any explorers in the UK have actually been here yet. I mean, by the time this video drops, everyone has been here, but wow, this for, I actually like this one. Dang, is it open? I can't open it. It's all good. Oh, this one actually has a toilet in it. It's actually like a marble toilet. Oh, up there? up here it's a small room it's the it's the cheer graveyard the cheer freaking graveyard just stacked to the top all chairs I don't even think I can make it in this room ah, I'm stuck again my backpack <sighs> yep we got like birds over there and Christmas trees but oh, there's rooms up there too bro Oh my god! This is good! This is good, dude. Bro, when did you think you would ever come back to UK and see so much good as this? I, mean, I, did, I didn't, yeah. I did not expect that. And you can, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. I love this a lot because not only does it look like this and it's great and it, it's not damaged, but I love how the DK is on the walls and how there's mushrooms growing and there's mold. It actually shows that it is abandoned because you wouldn't think this is abandoned, so the pictures are gonna be freaking beautiful here. Oh. What? Bro, I just, I just put my head down there and saw something. Bro, from what I saw, it looks, it looks tremendous. Dude, what is that? What is that statue thing oh, over there? It is. The bro from the Navy, it's a stallion. It's a stallion? What, is it two? Oh, it's two. No, that's not a stallion. That's my mm horse, -hmm. Oh my god. I don't know if I should go down there now or check the place out. Oh. oh, screw it, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, I so say I'd have that eagle in my garden any day of the week. Let's go. Oh my god, look at him. It's a freak. Yeah, oh, that's what you're talking about. I thought you are talking about that thing. Oh. The eagle. It's a full-on carved, what is it? Is that a wood? Yeah. Wow. Bro, it's oh. Bro, shit, it's, cool. <laughs> it's Christmas, boys. <laughs> this is impressive. This bro, is impressive. Bro, that is made out of one piece of a, of a, one piece of a tree, one piece of log. Yeah, and carved. Wow. I've never seen something like this in a abandoned place. Never. But dude, it's not only just this, but you have this guy, the eagle. Man, but the staircase is actually really amazing. It really is, and it's all carved nice. The detail for this is great with the red carpet. And you really can't beat this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, we hit gold in the UK today. We get lucky together, bro. We hang out together, we get lucky. Best of the best. Best of the best for real. Yep. All right, now before we explore a lot of that down there, I want to come back up here because there's still more to see, but wow, this is a huge place. I don't know what's actually unlocked and open because I was told that a lot of it's sealed, so I'm still confused. Oh, look at this map. It's a freaking map. I don't exactly know to where, though. It's like oh. someone's living there. Wow, this actually. It's still got the biscuits next to the bed, and that's like really weird. Biscuits near the bed still. Whoa, whoa. Just check the juice, it was like 2 it ran out of date, so... So it's out of date by how old? Me, three years now. Oh, it looks like someone's just still is here. Yeah. That's kind of, and someone's name's Wayne? Someone's name is Wayne. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's scary. That is, so unless there's a homeless guy uh, just chilling here, or maybe it could have been like an old person who used to work here or kind of like watch the place over. That happens a lot, I don't know. Oh. This is a sick view. I mean, just, uh, this is why I come to the UK. It's not only just to do these cool places, but you get to see different things and hang out with the homies, but the grass is like super green. You got water fountains, different foundations, different architecture, different people. It's the whole reason why we even travel in the first place, but to come and do something we also love, which is abandoned, just makes it way freaking better. So not only what he said about the whole like, 
crackers, but the dude's shoes are still here, which is really mysterious now. Not sure what to expect, explorers. Kind of spooky. I mean, he even had like his dishes here kind of done. Is this a double bathroom? What, 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 what? What happened? Someone's living here, right? And we found the bag and it's sealed. We're gonna open it. What? We're gonna open this bag. I don't know what's inside. I think it's bowling stuff. Because I've seen bowling shoes. Yeah. That's what I think. So who's living here? Maybe someone who's like working still. Someone has to be like, oh, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe he was living here like you said three years ago. I think he was living here like three years ago though. Side of the bag. Pull up, pull the zip. JBO speakers. Hey, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, right, he's a contractor. Oh, here he is, okay. <laughs> and it is a she. Oh no, is it he? I don't know. Make up your own gender. I'm gonna, it's a, it's a girl, I'm gonna blur it. Oh yeah, see, valid until 2019. Oh, yeah, you okay. said three years ago. Yeah, that's when the juice went out. Yeah, so that makes sense. Dude, whoever, they, they were working on this place in 2019. Yeah, I know, this makes perfect sense. The guy bought this place in 2018 and he said he was gonna re-renovate it into a hotel. Perfect. That's what he said. So obviously plans did not go through. So people that were working here or watching it over, obviously they, they didn't have the funds or something anymore and that's yeah. what happened. Good point. Yeah. yeah. So we're just, I like when we explore and just look around and put the pieces together though. Yeah, I was just expecting to find money or a head. <laughs> a head. Yeah, drug money or something. Steve going hard right now, getting the shots. Watch this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> So before we head downstairs, I'm checking one last room here. Wow. And this is like the royal, like, hotel room, like the VIP room, the suite. I mean, look at all these paintings that were inside. That's a crazy one. I mean, this is all set up, even with the tub and the shower. And look at how, look at their room, how wide it is. It's huge. Super big. Luxury, old school vibes. Again, this was a neoclassical foundation and architecture, everything. Yo, that room scared me. For a minute, I thought there was someone actually in there. I mean, it looks too mint. Seriously, this looks so freaking mint. Oh my God, that is a crazy tub. Yeah, this is the suite. Wow, and check this out in the fireplace. Carved in boat in the wood. It's really cool. Dang, there are flies everywhere. Holy crap, it's like the exorcist in the beginning. I mean, look at this. There's flies there. All dead flies here, they're all trapped. What, this is back where we're starting? Wait, how do you know? Oh, wow. Well, have we been down these stairs then? Down here? No, this is where we come from. Oh, yep, yep, okay, so we definitely came through here. We haven't been down here yet though, guys. No. Gotta check it out. Yeah, we just looped, like he said. I didn't even realize it. You know, this is very odd to say, explorers, but I've seen a lot of dead butterflies, and I don't, I've never seen so many dead butterflies. Oh, hey, it turned on. Welcome. Then where's this go? I'll have to check up there. I don't even know what would be in here. It's locked. That's what I'm saying. A lot of doors are locked, so we're trying to like open like whatever's open. I bet you this is locked too. Yeah. You guys see these stairs? Yeah, I haven't been down there. Though. Oh, me either. I didn't even see these stairs. They just. Is it? This looks like it brings you right into the lobby. This is like where they keep you. What is this? What is this? Nothing. Maybe it's one of those holes you find in there. It's a, it's a glass door that's like, I don't get it. There's not even a handle. It's just a door. It's just a glass door, like a mirror almost. And you're trapped in it. What is up guys, really quick before we get right back into this amazing video that I know you guys love, I wanna give a huge shout out to Apex Desk. This video is not sponsored, but I've been checking for the best desk I can get and I found the one that suits me and that is the Apex Desk Elite. This is honestly a dream desk to have and it has some features I wanna tell you about. The Apex Desk Elite is 60 inches wide and 27 inches deep. Now what I love about this desk is that it's a standing desk. And I didn't know this is a feature I ever would need or want, but I love it. First off, we could bring it all the way down to 29 inches and we could bring it up 
practically all the way to 49 inches to the point where I have to stand up. And I feel like a DJ. When I rise it all the way to the top, I just feel like I can just bounce to music and chill. But I love this feature. I don't know what, I, I'm not gonna game standing, but there's just something about it that I just love. <laughs> this goes down way more than I thought it did. I feel like I'm in preschool. I was gonna show you how I got the 49, but all my wires are in my actual mic is gonna fall right off the desk because it's going so high. Look at this. I'm gonna bring it back down. Hold it together, desk. I'm not used to this. I love it though. It's an amazing setting. Now, what else is great about this desk is that it holds 235 pounds. And what's good also is that they made this desk specifically where you can clamp everything together. Your, your road mic, or any mic, for example, or even your lights, your monitor clamps, the Hang 2 monitors, it, it's perfectly made to clamp. I That was a huge thing for me my old desk did not have. Now, the other thing I was looking at about desk is how sturdy is it. This wood, it's solid, it's sturdy, it doesn't shake, it doesn't move. That was a thing that I had issues with some desk online and some other reviews I read from other desks. This desk is solid. Now guys, there is a few accessories you can add to this desk that I just didn't add because I was lazy. One is a cable management tray, so your wires aren't everywhere. This Osco A-like rubber mat you can put on the bottom. Uh, just in case for whatever preferences. I didn't want that either. There's some other stuff you can get also. I just wanted the desk itself and I love this desk. I, I really do and it, it makes me even want to play games. So guys, if you want to see my second channel, well, I will be streaming video games again and I also post every weekend a video that's not usually abandoned or haunted, something just completely different that is also in the link in the description down below. You pretty much will see the other side of me. So check out the Apex desk and check out my second channel. Back to the video. I think we should just jump down the elevator shaft onto the first floor. So that's the only way down the elevator. Dude, if we do that, we're safe. We're in, I'll do it. Cause I'll just shimmy down. Dude, the elevator is not even attached anymore. Yeah, it's think? not even attached. I'd be scared to touch the elevator though and then it sinks. What do you it's think? It's far cause that's the base. On the road, onto the elevator shaft. If we do it, we're in. We're in the first floor. That's true. All right. Last option, that's the last option. Uh, okay. So we'll try other ways first, we'll keep looking. Nice. We found the way on the first floor after all this time. Dave's down there right now looking for a, like an unlocked door, but nothing's looking that good right now, but we still have this whole section. Something's gotta be. He said it looks really nice in there. <laughs> be good? <laughs> We did it. We did it. Finally, bro. This took like an hour and a half. We did it. Just, we, yeah. This well, this is what you have to climb, though. It's not bad. As long as it doesn't move. It does move. This is the ladder of doom. Yeah. <laughs> I might need this clip from you guys. Okay. Nice, slow and steady. What a day. Only in the UK. Only in the UK. Only in the UK. Okay. We're safe. I'll hold it for you guys too. Well, all right. We're now in the courtyard like the pillars here. Again, this is a neoclassical style. You can very well tell, especially with the insides with the red carpets, but this is a great spot. Look at this. I remember again, I said there was 100 rooms. 100 plus rooms are here, 46 bedrooms. Filled up this whole place. It's great. Whoa, is that like a gargoyle or something? It's like, uh, something's up there. Look at this light, dude. You see that? It looks like a light that goes onto the street lamps in London. Oh my god, we're now in, like, the main area. Holy crap. There's a huge difference explorers between the top hotel rooms to these hotel rooms. <gasps> what the heck's down there? Maybe at the end of this thing we'll go down there. Oh my god, even the paintings are better. The furniture. This is. Standing. Whoa! Wow. 
So checkered floors, bro. I love my bath. I love my bath bombs. It's even got crest on it though. Yeah. It's high ceiling bathroom too. What does it say on the toilet? It's, it says seat 15, 13. It's like they're numbered, every seat, whatever was made. Look at this gold, it's like a gold painted mug. The face is on it. Oh my God. What I really like about it is even on their beds, they have the carved faces. That's like my favorite kind of furniture. And here's the place as they're trying to work on it. Before the restoration commenced, we removed 2,640 tons of debris, 370 fluorescent light strips, and 135 pressed steel radiators. So it's just showing how they're trying to fix this up and monitorize it, but it's taking, you know, it's taking a grip. And this was, look at this thing, this is what it says. This was a project in the works in 2018, and they're gonna be finished by 2020, and they haven't even finished Here's the original state of what it looked like, at least on this floor. You can tell how they're improving and fixing it up. These are legitimate photos. You see, this is actually one of the hotel rooms we just explored, look how it looked. So you can see they're getting there. But the project was on, you know, put on hold now. Oh, are these a bunch of clocks? These are great. What's up, what's, what's? Don't even know. How well would these go in my house? <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, those so are cool. Nice. I like these. And guys, when he says that, he doesn't take or steal anything, just so you guys know. It's yeah, just, no. he's just dreaming. <laughs> God, look at this Fair picture. Right. Look at this picture. Is that real? Wait, don't shoot it. Oh, it's a cap gun. Oh, he's scared. <laughs> yeah, I got scared. <laughs> don't shoot it, I said. Imagine going into an hospital, yeah, I got shot by a 1700s front <laughs> <football> pistol <laughs> yeah. in an abandoned mansion. Yeah. Dude, I'm really scared of this bit. This is it. Seriously. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> He's kidding. Bro. <laughs> oh, man. There's the glass door. Yes. The glass door. That's the one we seen. Remember, we were in there. Josh was in love I was saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it looked like, bro. Oh, there's a statue with the... Dude, look at this statue. It's all cut. There's another one, bro. Another one, look at this. Why don't you know what it's guarding? This is what we've been trying to get to. This is the lobby. All right, Explorers, it's been literally like, what, five hours in? Five hours. Since non we, yeah, nonstop, just exploring, like through this maze. It is a serious maze, through the rooms, through this different ways, through these windows, these windows, anything we can, just to try to explore more, because a lot of it is blocked off. Now, we found the way into the main lobby. It was just you know, a lot of different trial and error doors and alleyways in this house, this mansion, this 100 plus room mansion. But we found the lobby that we've been waiting to see that no one has seen in ages. It's coming up right now. All right, guys, get ready. This lobby's no joke. Here it is. It's almost refinished. Wow, look at that couch. I feel like we're in the Titanic, bro. Look at all their tea sets are still here. Paintings. Oh, there's a few, a human statue, a full on one over there. This is incredible. The pillars. Look at these pillars. Oh my God. Yeah. Guys, look. Oh my God. We did it. We did it. Statues all over here too. Damn, this was this might be again one of the best explorers in the whole UK. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice the piano. Damn. Yup, this is legit Resident Evil. This is legit. It really is. To the chandelier, to the piano, to the floors. This is the Resident Evil mansion of the UK. Whoa. We're in New World, dude. We are in, get class. We are. We're coming Fable. <laughs> oh my god. Here's another one. Oh, Headshot. Oh, you already know the Instagram shots are going to be amazing now. Oh, well, we have to work hard to get these shots good, though. Can we get a group photo with your tripod? With these. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. There's a lot of spiders here, and they're alive. They're big, too. 
I don't want to move. Wow, look at this piano. This is insane. Guys, this is abandoned. Like, look at the ceiling. Come on. How much more proof? It's just, it's that perfect. Wow, check out the chandelier above. That's a good chandelier. I feel like we're in like a movie theater vibe, like a nice opera theater, like to start off, or the Titanic, one or the other. You know, you already know how it is. We got the guns right here, guns blazing. This is nuts. And you know who that is? Mozart. It's Beethoven. Okay, Beethoven. No, it's not, it's not. Huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't know who that is. Huh? Guys, we did it. After literally six and a half hours, we did this 46 room bedroom mansion. We explored it all. This is not something you see every day. This is abandoned. Like, it's unbelievable. It's like a complete setup with statues, the lights, the power on. You would think it's not abandoned, but it is. This is one of the craziest places I've ever done in the UK, ever in my life. I really enjoyed this video. I gotta give a huge shout out to the crew. You know, we got Steve Ronan, Exploring with Fighters, and also Abandoned World Explorer. Uh, link in the description down below for them. Without them, like, I don't even think we'd ever make it in the lobby here right now because it was so much like maneuvering around trying to figure out the layout of this mansion. This is seriously, like I said, the Resident Evil Mansion. That's the title of this video because it, it feels like it 100%. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out the merch, you already know. We got Nara Dreamland out again, black and white, and a few other stuff. Also guys, really quick, definitely check out the second and third channel, link in the description down below. You got Exploring Beyond the Dark, which is a story channel, and you have the vlog channel. But you see everything that I do that's not abandoned and ghost stuff. I do a lot of other crazy funny things, and that's just Josh and you. So now, we'll end this video right here for good. Rise above, just get out to explore. Peace and thanks for watching.